Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Awesome DIY project we got going today. We're going to head out to the vehicle, pop the hood, and we are going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to properly and carefully clean your entire throttle body unit. Let's go outside and get started. All right, YouTubers outside in the garage now on the left-hand side, the silver Toyota. That's the vehicle that we are going to complete a throttle body cleaning. And this is the throttle body and air intake cleaner, CRC. And we've got needle nose pliers and a Phillips screwdriver. Let's dive right into it. We are going to remove this clamp, remove this hose, give us better access to this screw, and a little more room to pull this hose off the actual throttle body itself. Just carefully pinch and shift that clamp down. And carefully pull this off. Whatever you do, don't pull too hard. Don't harm the actual hose. Okay, pop it out of that little connection tab and I will set this aside. From here, Phillips screw, let's go ahead and loosen up this screw. And as I'm loosening up this Phillips screw, it's very scratchy and very squeaky. So when it comes time to tighten the screw back up, I'm going to put anti-seize on it. You'll know the clamp is loose when you can move it like that. From here, let's go ahead and loosen up this clamp as well. And it's just as scratchy and squeaky as well. Again, loosen it up to a point where you can move the clamp. And what we want to do is disconnect the hose from both sides. Give it a little more room because this is a very firm hose. So if I keep it connected here, it'll be very tough to pull rearward and off to gain access to inside the throttle body. And as I was trying to maneuver this hose, I realized it would be so much more beneficial if I just remove that air filter case. And from here, you can basically give it a little muscle and pull the hose right off. Inside there is the throttle body entrance. I'm going to shine a light inside there and see how dirty it is. All right, grab the flashlight, position it in a way where you get a much better view of the inner portion of the throttle body. And when you're inside driving and you push the gas pedal, basically pulls this cable and it moves the internal valve here. Look at how dirty that is. Can you believe it? This is going to take a lot of cleaning. This throttle body is a disaster as far as cleanliness. We definitely need to take some time and clean this. So from here, I might even grab an old t-shirt that I'm willing to dirty up and throw away. And also grab that throttle body cleaner. And a few safety items, directions, read these. They're very important. Number one basically says do not spray this into the throttle body with the engine running. Number two, if you drive a vehicle that has a supercharger or a turbocharger or it's a diesel engine, or rotary engine, don't use this. Number three, don't spray into the air filter or across mass airflow. That's not good. Number four, don't spray plastic surfaces. Wash off over spray immediately and so on. Read the directions. From here, I've got that old shirt that I'm willing to dirty up and throw away. And I also have a towel position to catch any overspray and not allow it to drip down on any portions of the engine below. From here, because my throttle body is so embarrassingly dirty, I'm not even going to use the straw for that fine spray. I'm gonna spray this entire thing full blast inside here. So I'll start slowly. As you can see, just a little bit of overspray caught by the towel. And from here, set the can down and I'm going to basically go inside the throttle body with the shirt. And I'm going to start going in a circular motion all around and you'll notice starting to get some grime and gunk coming out of that throttle body and I'm going to use my left hand to open up this little valve inside to give me better access to the remaining thick portion of that gunk inside. And a quick update, I went ahead and sprayed inside with that valve open and before even going in with the towel and cleaning, you can see the cleaner is going to work breaking up all that grime and it's basically slowly flowing outward onto the towel. And again, that's why you want that towel there to catch any of that. And a quick update, it is very, very filthy inside that throttle body. As you can see here, I am taking out thick clumps of grime and sludge. Let's continue cleaning that entire throttle body. All right, for the most part, I've got it pretty darn cleaned up from what I can actually reach inside there. You can still see 
a little bit of grime. You don't even want to know what that shirt looked like after I was done. Rest assured, I will never ever wear that shirt ever again. One more thing I want to point out, in the event that you want to continue further inside this part, you can remove your actual throttle body itself. However, take into consideration there is a rubber gasket that goes between the throttle body and this portion. And in the event that you harm that during the removal or reinstallation of the throttle body, it will definitely degrade your engine performance. So I recommend if you're going to remove this, make sure you run to AutoZone and have that gasket handy just in case. And it might not even be a bad idea to put a brand new gasket on. At this point, we are going to let this engine sit for at least an hour. Let that CRC throttle body solution to continue breaking up that internal grime. And after that, we are going to put the hose back on the throttle body, secure the clamps, re-secure the air filter cap as well, and then connect this hose back to the portion of the throttle body right here. All right, YouTubers, back out in the garage now. It's been three hours. Plenty amount of time for that cleaning throttle body solution to dig its way inside the inner portion here and loosen up all that grime and sludge. And I've reconnected everything, secured the air filter case, the clamps that secure the hose, rubber hose back in its clamp here, repositioned it on its nipple portion and secured it with the clamp. From here, I'm going to start the engine and I'm going to make sure that the garage door is open and I'm going to drive the vehicle outside of the garage because all that throttle body cleaning solution is going to give off a pretty stinky odor once the engine is running. So I don't want that inside my garage. And before starting the engine, just verify you have no tools laying anywhere in that engine. That would not be good. And it took a couple seconds for the engine to actually fire. And that was normal because I sprayed quite a bit of that solution and intake cleaner inside that throttle body. From here, I'm going to get out of the garage. Engine is running and the engine sounds really nice. Got the vehicle positioned in a way that I'm not blowing any of that exhaust toward my house or inside my garage. And I recommend letting the engine run for about 15 minutes and then take it for a test drive. Get that gas pedal moving, maybe drive it for 30 miles. And as you drive it and push on that gas pedal and accelerate and move that throttle body and the internal valve, you're going to continue the cleaning process and allow that solution to continue making its way through the throttle body and intake system, breaking up additional grime and sludge. And that's a good thing. And since we did all this, your exhaust color might be a little white for the first couple minutes. That's normal, just because we sprayed that cleaner inside the engine. One additional thing before going on a test drive, just verify you have no leaks around the portions that we re-secured the clamps. If you've got some leaks, you might have loose clamps and you need to tighten them a little more. And again, this is what I mentioned earlier, as you push the pedal, this is what happens. So, the engine revs up, you push the gas pedal inside the vehicle, lose that cable. So that's kind of how that throttle body works. So with that said, YouTubers, I'm taking it for a test drive now. All right, YouTubers, I'm back from my test drive. I went to town and accelerated pretty good. The gas pedal did not stick. Major increase in performance, and that is awesome. Job complete and successful. And the last thing I want to verify, again, just no leaks around any of the portions that we removed. Everything is dry. And in the event that you have any leaks in this portion, just tighten the clamp, make sure the hose is on there firmly. That's it, YouTubers. See a quick, friendly DIY project. And now, hopefully, you have a very clean throttle body and you no longer have a sticking gas pedal. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified you will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Hey, thanks again for watching. Hope the video helped.